Hi guys, it's hey. Billy. And Pat. And we are up on the roof again, and it's our August update about our rooftop garden. Uh, oh, it's almost the end of summer, this is kind of sad, but we got a lot of stuff, so I figured we could do a little checkup on what's going on. Over here is not looking so great in this yeah. area. This portion of our garden kind of was a dud, um, but herbs are doing pretty good. We have tons of mint. Mm -hmm. Our sugar snap peas died because it's way too hot up here. This is kind of our learning lesson this summer because we don't know what grows in the heat of like a tar roof. It gets hot up here, so yeah. next summer we'll know what goes and what doesn't go. So. There are some things on a roof that aren't always perfect for growing up here, but the lettuce did pretty good early on, but it gets really, once it gets hot out, it doesn't really grow as well. So like, I try to cut most of this back and you can't even eat it, it's so bitter. But in the fall, we can regrow this again and it will taste much better and delicious. Yummy. Like, like it did in the spring. Well, so for the basil, we kind of let it get really tall and I didn't realize how quick the buds grow on it because when the buds start growing, the basil flavor changes and doesn't taste as like, I don't know. The Basically. flavor is not as good as it should be. So I'm just trying to cut a lot of it back. And the lower it gets, it'll start growing a little differently again, and it won't have this opportunity to bud, which is where the flavor really starts changing. Over here we have some uh, fat, juicy Cherokee purple, purple Cherokee tomatoes. And we have peppers, which we've gotten quite a few. We have grape tomatoes. We have blackberries, which have no blackberries on it, except a few, and we have cherry tomatoes. We have had so many cherry and grape tomatoes, it's oh, almost like... Oh, Yeah. We, yesterday, so, <laughs> yesterday we picked a bunch, um, because we weren't filming, but we probably should have yeah. thought about it, but look how many we got. These are like, these are the Cherokee, purple Cherokee tomatoes, they're Beautiful. a little weird looking, but they're super sweet, and we have like tons of cherry tomatoes in here, we have yellow peppers, they're a little small, but still they'll be good to, to eat, whatever, it's free. Yeah, whatever. we picked them yesterday, but and we didn't film it, but here's a little reenactment. Yeah. One of the other really cool things about gardening is just the little treats you can give yourself while you're doing it, like these nasturtium flowers. They're edible. They're edible, they start off sweet, and then they get really spicy, and you make sure there's no bugs inside, and you go. Ew, you just mm. ate a flower. Oh, it's hot. It's good though. I had them before. Right? Good. What's like it taste like? Peppery at the end. Peppery. Put them in a salad. It's a little decorative thing. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> but delicious. But delicious. It actually is. It's just a shock. So you saw all the delicious vegetables we've had, and there's been so many of them growing. We eat them every single day. But our other portion have been the herbs, and the herbs we cook with, and especially we drink with. Yeah, we got mm -hmm. a cocktail. So I like to end my gardening with a nice little drink, and this one is called the Chartreuse Smash. Mm -hmm. And it starts down here with 10 Whoop. mint leaves. Yummy. Pluck them. If you want to learn how to make a Chartreuse Smash, click the link on the annotation on the video, or click the link in the video's description, and we'll show you how. And then we go, and we make drinks. Freaking delicious. Yum. Thank you for watching this week, and I hope you enjoyed the update on the garden because there's not much more of it, only like another month, and then it all dies. So, <laughs> cheers awesome. to that. Cheers. Bye. Billy's shirt is him and his sister. <laughs>